Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I just wanted to open up the laptop quick and shoot this quick video because I've been thinking a lot about what truly, like truly makes the difference between a Shopify dropshipping business or an e-commerce business or pretty much any business in fact, that what makes a difference between a business that fails and a business that succeeds. There's so many different moving parts and elements that goes into a dropshipping business. You could record a whole course of videos for each element. However, I think I've come up with one single question, just one question that if you ask yourself honestly, and I mean honestly about your current business and your current setup, it's gonna help you identify where the potential issues may be lying that you can then address and improve your chances of success. It's not the most sexiest or exciting video topic, I get that. But for those people who have tried their hand at dropshipping or want to try their hand at dropshipping and are serious about trying their hand at dropshipping and they're committed to this, then I believe at least given my experience, there's a lot to take away from this video and it's quite a valuable video in comparison to some of the others that I put out. Yes, I know I talk about the correct products and winning products in my mind, the best products to sell, but in reality, that's only a fraction of what goes into a successful business. So the question, and bear with me by the way, let me explain what I mean by this question. Don't just hear the question and then leave the video thinking what the hell is Jack on about, he's lost the plot. I'll explain and it will make sense, I promise. So the question you need to ask yourself is how easy is my business to replicate? So how easy is it for somebody to come in and copy exactly what you are currently doing? So let me explain. I think we can all agree that the more competition there is for something, or the more competition selling the same products, or the more competition in the same niche, the harder it is to succeed. So if we take an extreme example, right? Let's take Amazon as a business. For somebody to compete with Amazon, for somebody, a new player, to come into the game and compete with Amazon and knock them off their pedestal is almost impossible to do because to replicate and compete with what Amazon are doing would require significant, and obviously significant amounts of investment, not just financially, but also time-wise as well. To compete with Amazon, you'd be talking probably billions, if not trillions of dollars of investment, and probably the same again in man hours. So for somebody to do that to Amazon is almost impossible and therefore very, very unlikely. If we come down to the other end of the scale and think of the typical Shopify dropshipping business that is very easy to replicate and could be done so in the matter of a few hours or certainly within 24 hours, that's where the bulk majority of people are going to be. That's where the majority of the market, that's where the majority of people who try their hand at this business are going to be because of dropshipping and its advantages to low barrier to entry, it doesn't require much time or much money to get started in. It attracts a lot of people and a lot of people stay at that bottom level and in reality most people succeed. So if you put yourself in that same pool of people that have these kind of low-end Shopify stores that are easy to replicate, you will never ever ever succeed. If you have a Shopify store and a setup that somebody with a bit of experience like myself can literally replicate within three hours or the next person could do within 24 or 48 hours, how on earth can you ever possibly imagine to succeed when you have a business that requires such little investment? The more investment you put into your business, the more it's set, as long as you put it into the correct places, obviously, I'm not just talking about throwing hundreds and thousands of pounds into ads. If you put it into the correct places and separate yourself from the bottom pool of people and you move up that pedestal, so to speak, the harder your business is to replicate and the more likely you are to succeed. Because if it was as easy as throwing up a Shopify store importing some products images from AliExpress, lining up a supplier you can link up in a matter of a few minutes and running some ads with recycled content and make loads of money in the first got like couple of weeks, everybody would be doing it if it really was that easy. But the harsh reality is that it's not. So what you need to do is you need to ask yourself is how easy is my business to replicate? And you need to ask yourself that question about four elements, about four parts of your business. 
So when you think of like the perfect recipe that goes into a successful Shopify dropshipping store, you may have heard me call it the four pillars in the past, is you have your product, you have the store that you sell the products on, you have a supplier, you obviously need a supply lined up to supply those products, and of course you need some form of marketing, a creative, an audience to show your product to. And if you ask yourself this question about those four elements, depending on what the answer is, will highlight whether you have the issue or not. So we'll go through them now one by one. So first things first is the product. So think about it, how easy would it be for me to sell the same products that you are selling? Is it readily available on AliExpress or have you sourced it from a platform that not many people know about, like Avasam? So you might be thinking, what the hell has Jack just said? They're called Avasam, they are a dropshipping supplier based in the UK. So are you sourcing a product that is easily available for the whole world to compete with you? Have you developed the product in any way, shape or form? Have you private labeled the product? If you do all of these things, these are all extra things that require more time and more financial investment. And the more time and the financial investment you put into your business, the further it pushes it up that pedestal, and the further up you go, the less willing the people at the bottom are willing to go to follow you, if that makes sense. So it separates you from that massive, the majority of people that usually fail at this. So that's your product. Next, we have the store. So the store that you're selling your product on. How easy is it for me to copy and paste your Shopify store? So when I say copy and paste, are you using images that you do not own, i.e. are they images imported from your supplier that I can go in and import as well? Are you using a default Shopify theme that is free that I can also import and use as my theme and therefore the functionality will be exactly the same? Or have you invested $150, $250, $500 into a really slick theme that not many other people are using, if at all anybody else are using, or have you decided from scratch or have you paid a developer? I know I'm talking extreme lengths and quite costly investments at time and they're not, to be honest, 100%, they're not always necessary, but the more of these things you do that I'm mentioning in this video, the further it's going to separate you from the pack and the more the higher chance of success you're going to have. Then we have the supplier. So are you using a really common dropshipping supplier. I'm using AliExpress, so I can just go and use them as well, and therefore I'll be able to compete on quality, I'll be able to compete on price, I'll be able to compete on shipping times, or are you using somebody that nobody's ever heard of before that people will struggle to find, and therefore they'll struggle to compete on shipping times, they'll struggle to compete on quality, they won't be able to private label it. Have you found a local supplier so you can offer two to three day delivery? That is such a difficult thing to compete with. All of these things, I keep reiterating it, but it's super, super important. If you have a stereotypical dropshipping store here, one to two week delivery, it looks really good, the price is good, everything looks spot on and you're happy with. However, you then have this business selling the same products, but it's private labeled. It's gonna arrive a week quicker. They have a super slick website with functionality that you've never seen before. Even if they're 10% more expensive, you're probably gonna go with the more professional looking outfit and business because you will feel safer and more comfortable spending your money with them. One of the biggest hurdles you will have to overcome is trust on social media. The majority of people have been burnt by scam stores. So when they come across yours, it is your job to make them feel comfortable enough to shop with you and put any potential hesitations to bed, put their mind at ease that you are a legitimate outfit. And by doing all of these things, you separate yourself from what they are used to seeing and move you up that pedestal. Then we have the ads, super, super important, not just from a consumer point of view and separating yourself from the competition point of view, but also from the platform point of view as well. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put ourselves in the shoes of Mark Zuckerberg, right? The owner of Meta, the owner of Facebook. He's running a social media platform, right? He's got a hundred advertisers all selling the same product. 99 of them are using the same content that is on YouTube, that's on TikTok, that's on all these other platforms, right? This is content that people just keep seeing time and time again. And because they've seen it time and time again, it's nothing new, it's nothing exciting, they're not engaging, they're not tagging their mates. Then you have this one guy out of the 100 who has an original piece of content that no one has seen before. Because no one has seen before, seen it before, they're more interested in it. It's much more likely to catch their eye. They're much more likely to stop and watch it and therefore spend more time on Facebook. Who, as Mark Zuckerberg, are you going to give the best results to? Are you gonna give it to the 99 that aren't getting great engagement and they're just recycling content that people have seen a million times before? 
or are you going to give it to the guy that's got an original piece of content that people love to watch and instead of watching this video over here for four or five seconds they're watching this one guy's video for 30 40 seconds that extra time they spend on the platform is better for facebook and therefore they're much more likely to reward this guy who's got an original piece of content so ask yourself about the ad creators you've used to this point is it the same that everybody else is using if it is that will be your first place to start source an original piece of content get an actor on board look on fiverr use a software or service like Bilio or viral e commerce, both of those guys now offer UGC content. Approach small time influencers with less than 500 or 1,000 followers. These guys would love to receive a product for free in return for just recording a 20 or 30 second video. By now, I really hope the point is coming across. How easy is your business to replicate? Think of me for each element of your business. Can Jack replicate what I'm doing? very very easily with very little financial investment and very little time investment if the answer is yes you need to develop that area of your business and trust me if you do and you put that investment financially and time wise into the right places it will pay dividends in the long run and so with that being said then guys that is it for this video if you stuck this long with me i really do appreciate it more importantly i really do hope you've taken some ideas and inspiration away from this video before you go, I have a very secretive message just for you. So I do run a mentorship program. At the end of each video, I invite the people who have stuck this long to jump on a one-to-one -one call with myself. It's a Google Meet with myself. Um, I put it at the end because less people will see it. And the people who stay to the end are most likely more serious and committed about drop shipping, and they're the people that I want to work with. So if that is you and you are committed to drop shipping, you love the business model and you hate what your current situation is and you want some help and you enjoy my content, of course, then I invite you to book a call with me and we can have a chat and see if we can make that happen. What you need to do is in the video description below, you'll see a mentorship link. Click that, it's gonna take you to a questionnaire. The questionnaire takes no more than three minutes. It's a way of kind of gatekeeping and keeping out the time wasters. So again, if you are serious about this, then it's very little commitment on your part. It basically, the questions give me an opportunity to see what your current experience is um, and where you want to be with my help in one, two or three months time. And if you have a good attitude and you're proactive and you're serious and committed about this and you have the resources to do it, it will let you go through to my calendar where you can book a time and date where we'll jump on a call and have a chat in a bit more depth. Uh, maybe talk about football because Manu have just won the FA Cup um, and see what's what. OK, so if that sounds good to you, click the link in the video description below and I look forward to meeting you. Thanks.